Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be traveling along the roads of gold and silver snow in the land of the midnight sun where those ice blue roses grow. Do you feel me? Oh, why do you treat me so unkind, cruel mistress? Let's learn so many roads, because I'm I'm just already about to cry. Let's just let's get into it. This is this is too emotional. What is happening, all of you wonderful, beautiful hippies? What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Play Dead. As always, I am Davey, the dude who shows you how to play Grateful Dead too. And please, if it is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you get notified every time that we drop our goodies and our little nuggets of entertainment because there are so many coming at your face all the time. How can you, how can you tell what's going on with all this content coming at your face? I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you keep up with it, but I applaud all of you that are already subscribers and watch all of our stuff because that's insane. It's insane. If you're one of the few people that watches everything we put out, it's a lot, and I'm thankful to you for that. Anyways. Today, we are learning so many roads. I know that I put out the uh, Grateful Dead Guitar Teacher Reacts video a few weeks ago, and that got a lot of great attention. It got a, a lot of great feedback, and the, the most feedback I got was, when is the lesson coming, motherfucker? Here it is. I know I've been talking about doing this one for a long time. Funny story, I actually, I just recently did the uh, No Simple Road podcast, and at the end of that podcast, Aaron uh, asked me, what my favorite Grateful Dead song was. I went with Ship of Fools, but I think I may have to renege on that. That This may be my favorite. It just didn't cross my mind when he asked me that because I don't even know if I necessarily see this as a Grateful Dead song. This is really just like one of those songs that is like etched into me. This is one of those songs that is just like a gospel. It doesn't even feel like it was written by anyone. It doesn't seem like it was put here. It just feels like it was just like existed and it, it just feels like one of those things that has always existed and we've just kind of come in contact with it. Um, so I think that this may be my favorite, not only my favorite Grateful Dead song, but like my favorite song ever. Just because of the lyrical content and what it means to me, it may be my favorite ever, ever, ever in the world, ever, 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 ever. Uh, okay, so, So Many Roads, written by Jerry Garcia and Robert Hunter in uh, around 1992. Fun fact, this song was first performed February 22nd, 1992. You know what that is? That's two days after your boy was birthed into the, into the world. My birthday is February 20th, 1992. This was first performed two days. So this is like my song. This is like my song, straight up. This is, this is my song. You can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> the last time it was played was July 9th, 1995, which was that performance that we watched uh, on the Grateful Dead Guitar Teacher Reacts video, and it's super sad, made me cry. I don't know if I'll be able to make it through this lesson without shedding a tear. Robert Hunter likes to say that this was the song that almost wasn't. Like, this is, um, this is the song that almost got away uh, because he said that he had recorded Jerry playing some piano parts at his house years ago, and then he, he came across the recording on an old, uh, an old uh, tape deck that he had found, and he wrote, he wrote the lyrics to it, and... Uh, you know, he, he then showed it to Jerry and made Jerry rework it because Jerry was like, ah, I like the words, but I don't really like that. But Robert was like, no, it needs to kind of go with this, figure it out. And so Jerry figured it out. Another fun fact is that Jerry said that about this song that uh, Robert basically wrote it from Jerry's point of view. He's like, Robert has been writing songs from my point of view for forever. He's like, you know someone this intimately in a like a close relationship for so long, you know, uh, he says that Robert writes him, writes Jerry better than Jerry can even convey his own thoughts and emotions, which like that's definitely me and Toby's relationship in a nutshell. You, Toby's my Robert Hunter, basically. It's, it's just how we've always been. Uh, I, you know, I'm a lyricist. I'm a, I'm a competent lyricist, but Toby is a gifted lyricist. You know, and I'm, you know, we can both put put music to stuff, but it just seems like that's kind of the dichotomy and the the relationship that happens there. Anyways, I'm super excited to to, to show this one to you guys. Uh, this is how it breaks down. You have your intro, which is which is what you'll be playing after uh, between between verses, and you'll also be doing. There's the verse, and then there's also two different choruses. There's a chorus A and a chorus B, right? And then that's it. There's no bridge. I'm sorry. 
Uh, but there are two cool little lead sections that we're going to go over today. You're going to go over, I'm going to show you uh, some lead ideas on the full chord progression and then the chant progression at the end that there's so many rows to ease my soul. So many rows. That part, there's usually a solo over that part. So I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you both of those things. Anyways, so let's get into it, boys and girls. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy to see you, especially you. Hey, but you though, put that down. You know you're not supposed to touch that. Stop it. Okay. I'm going to wait until you put it down. Thank you. Now we can move along. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome to the intro. Here is your intro tab. It's very easy, and it's it's such a sweet little pretty little intro. I, I very much enjoy it. It's It's kind of like... It's a little fluttery. It's like a little fairy coming and getting in your face, being like, what's up? How you doing? You want to hang out with me in the forest next to this little lily pad? What's up? You know? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so watch me play it, and then we'll go. We'll, we'll get through it. Okay? See? Super duper simple and easy. Okay, so how are you gonna do it? How it's gonna break down? So you're gonna start with a D chord. Start with a D. But I want you to do is I want you to hammer on to a suspended fourth, right? So that'd be like you hit it once and you do that hammer on. So then you take it off. So you hit it and take it off. So hammer on, hit, take off, and then you're gonna hit, hit it one more time. So. Right? And then, then now you get to do the fun part. Now, you remember when we did Sitting in Limbo? If you haven't watched the Sitting in Limbo lesson, go watch the Sitting in Limbo lesson after this one. We're going to take in that uh, the idea of sixths. Sixths. That's a weird thing to have to say to people. Sixths. Because there's S-I-X-T-H. Sixth. It's a weird thing to make your mouth have to do. Whatever. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take... It's going to sound like this. That'll be that first half we go over, okay? okay? So what you'll do is you'll take your middle finger and you're gonna put it on the D string and slide it from the first to second fret. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the first fret on the B string, right? You're gonna put your pointer finger in there. So, so oops. Right, so there you go. That's what that first one should sound like. And, uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to slide your middle finger up to the third fret on the D string. And then you're going to move your ring finger to that third fret on the B string. So it'll be... Right? Cool! I know you got this shit, but we're going to do one more test. And then you're going to take this whole nonsense and move it up another step. So you're going to move this up to the fifth fret. Right? So. Cool? And then what you're gonna do now is you're gonna repeat that last one. So you're gonna slide back up from the third to the fifth fret again, okay? So. Right? And then what you're gonna do now is you're gonna move your, uh, your middle finger up to the seventh fret. And then you're gonna put your pointer finger on the sixth fret on the B string. And then you're gonna move all this up. You're gonna do. Uh, you're gonna go back to that other finger pattern and do the eighth fret on the D and B strings respectively. So, right? So you'll do that. So it'll sound like this. Right? Cool. That's that's the intro. Okay. So we'll do it. Okay, and now what you're gonna do to segue into the first the first chord of the verse is an E flat, right? So what you'll do is you'll go down here onto the D string on the third and fifth fret, and you're gonna do a three five three, right? On the 
on the D string. And then you're going to take your pinky and you're going to hit this uh, sixth fret on the A string. And that's your E flat root. And then you're going to hit an E flat chord. Now, now what I'm doing is I'm going to be showing you how to do this in this, kind of this first position area, but you are able to do all of these chords up here in like second, third position. Okay, so if you're not comfortable with doing these C-shaped chords yet, because that's an E-flat, if you're not comfortable doing these E-shaped chords, the C-shaped chords, sorry, you can do these kind of chords, like these, these more bar chords, right? So it's, it's whatever, whatever you need to do. Again, I love you, but I'm not here to teach you how to play guitar. I'm here to show you how to play Grateful Dead songs in the easiest way possible, okay? So if you need help on figuring out actual chord shapes and things, I don't always want to take the time to show you how to play chords, if that makes sense, okay? Because I, I have enough on my plate just, just mapping out these songs in, in a proper manner and getting them out to you. So um, I, I would much rather you, if you have if you have an issue with a chord, just quickly, go Google's your friend, you know? Just Google what the chord should look like and then do that. Uh, but you've got this C-shaped E flat, so you've got an E flat that we start everything with, okay? And then that's your that's your verse. That's the whole thing, and you don't need to do anything else. That is that is the intro. And then now we're gonna move into our verses because I think you're ready. I think you've shown the gumption to move on. So here we go. Now. Thought I heard a blackbird sing up on Bluebird Hill. Hello! Welcome to the verse. Chords. <laughs> Watch me do it and we'll do it. Thought I heard blackbird singing on the bird Call me Again, super, I mean, there's, there's some chords. Now, don't get, me, don't, don't get me fucked up. There's some chords, but it's not that hard. It's just a pattern. It's all just a pattern. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start on that, that thing. Right? So that E flat. Thought I heard. Right? So make sure that when you're hitting that E flat that you're not hitting that open E because everything's going to sound like dog shit if you do that. Okay? So make sure you mute that or don't hit it. Or you can, when you want to do the bar one, you can bar that E and give yourself some harmony, and it'll kind of sound all right. But, so, I thought I heard to B flat, a blackbird singing, and then to F, up on bluebird, and then to D minor, hill. Now what you can do is, I, of course, since I do most of the Jerry stuff, I like to hit those those lower register, those kind of chromatic walk-ups that he does. That kind of thing. So, of course, I'm going to do that. So anytime that you're segueing into a minor, you can do those chromatic walk, those chromatic walk-ups, right? So it'll be like a... Um, Thought I heard to be flat a blackbird singing to F up on the bird hill. Up to that D minor, right? And then we're going to go back to E flat. Call me to B flat, a whining boy to F if you will. Stay on F. And then there you can do this nice walk up to the E flat. So it's a three, five, six on that A string. Down well. To B flat, the sun don't shine, and I to F don't deny 
A to D minor. And now what we're going to do to do our turnaround, it's an F, so. Got no place to see go. Ain't that to B flat a shame? And then you can do your walk up and then go into that, that second verse. The thought I heard that KC whistle moaning sweet and low. Thought I heard that KC when she blow. You get me? That's that's your verses. That's all your verses. That doesn't change that whole time. It's that same same chord progression. This same chord progression. Okay? So get that in you. Deal with it. Live with it. Live, love, laugh, repeat, rinse, wash it off, smack it around, beat the devil out of it. Dry it off. Don't get stop. Why'd you wrap your hair around it? Don't do that. Sorry. Anyways, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. But I told you to put that down. Buddy. Hey. Okay. Thanks. Now, are you guys ready to move on to the choruses? I bet you are. So let's do it. So many roads. Okay, so the choruses. We got a chorus A and a chorus B. Chor there's, there's a slight difference between chorus A and chorus B, and it's literally just the second half of it. So your first half of your choruses, boom, look like this. Beguile. Course A, all right? So now listen to me do it, and then we'll break it down. Cool, 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 So many roads I tell you, so many roads I know. All I want is one to take me home. The mountain high, the river wide. Okay, so that first chorus, not I mean it's not it's 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 impactful for sure. Um, but it's not the most difficult thing in the world. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a a walk up to G minor. So 1 2 3 literally first second third fret on the E string. So many words I tell you to C7. Right? So that's just a C chord and then what you've done is you've taken your middle and, and pinky finger put them on the D and B strings. Right? So. So many roads I tell you. Cool? And then we're going to do that same kind of walk up to A. So many roads to D minor, I know. So we'll go over that first half again. So many roads I tell you. So many roads I know. Cool? And then we're going to go to B flat. All I want to F. What is one to E flat to take me home? Do that again. The mountain high, the river wide, up to A. So many to D minor, roads to ride. So B flat. So many roads to F, and then up to E flat. So many roads. And then we're going to hit our intro. Got me? All right. Now, what we're going to do is quickly, you're going to listen to the second one, and then we will just break that down as well. Okay? So here you go. New York to San Francisco. So many roads I know. All I want is one to take me home.
Okay, not too bad. And now here we go. Okay, so how that, it starts the same. New York to San Francisco. So many roads I know. All I want is one to take me home. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a C minor. From the high road. And now we're going to go to A major. To the low. Okay, it's a little weird. Now we're going to go to D minor. So many. To B flat. Roads I know. Stay on B flat. So many roads. To F. To E flat. So many roads. Right, so we'll go over it again. New York to C7, up to A, up to D minor, B flat to F, up to E flat. Now we're doing the change. C minor, C minor, up to A, D minor to B flat, baby. B flat to F, up to E flat. Now your intro. Okay, guys, and that is your song. Other than the chanting at the end, which leads into the second solo, which is actually, it's an F. It's just the ending of your verses. So it's just an F, C to B flat. Something so simple can be so fucking impactful that it changes people's lives for fucking generations. And that is why The Grateful Dead is one of the most prolific bands in fucking history. I don't think that their catalog of songs is ever, like from here on out, I don't think that this music's going to go anywhere. Just because of people like me and people like you who continue to play the music and continue to expound upon it and keep it alive, that's the reason why none, none of it is in vain. Nothing is in vain. Everything has a reason. I love you. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna do a lead over the uh, the chord progression, like the regular verse chord progression, because there's usually a solo break that happens over the chord progression, and then I'm gonna rip dick on the the F C B flat part, which would be the outro. Cool. Um, so I've already got that loop set up, so I'm gonna get that going, and I'm gonna put my green screen around a little bit of delay because that's how I like to have my sauce. And then, um, here we go. You're going to be in, like, you can be somewhere around F major.
So that's it for that one. Uh, I'm gonna just hopefully that gave you some ideas. You're just you're just kind of chilling around in F. And just trying to accentuate the changes between the chords, right? That's that's all soloing is trying to do, and you're just trying to get your way from one one area to the next, okay? And you're just hanging out and um, really feeling it. You like I think the the best part of playing Grateful Dead music is that it doesn't matter how technical you are; it has everything to do with how how emotionally adept you are at uh, grafting crafting spiritual and emotional things onto your playing. I think that that's the coolest thing. Uh, but anyways, we're going to we're gonna go over, uh, we're going to now, I'm going to set up the loop for the F, C, and B flat section. So here, uh, I'm going to set that up and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have that one set up and now I'm going to rip on this one. Again, this one's this is an F, it's the same. So, uh, but just this one's going to be just like, you know, you balls to the wall. You know what I'm saying? Balls to the wall, baby. Here we go. <laughs> Right, that's it for this week guys uh thank you so much for for stopping in please uh go subscribe if you haven't um go check out everything we else we do on the channel podcast loose beats uh you know jerry rig everything else that we do uh please go join the patreon if you are fiscally responsible enough to do so we've got so many things over there we always try to make it worth your while uh thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here uh thank you for learning one of my favorite songs, just my favorite song. This is just my favorite song. Uh, it means a lot to me, almost to the point where it feels it feels weird that I'm doing it this early. But hey, this is our this is our technic, this is low key our six thousand subscriber special. Just low key six thousand subscribers. Just letting y'all know. Okay, so you guys keep keep getting people here. Please share us around. Tell ever tell everybody you know about the Toby and Davy channel and the Play Dead lessons. Okay. So um, check back at me next week. You guys are the best. I love you very much. Very, very much. Oops, all berries. I love you. All right, bye. Mwah. <laughs>